Think of two molecules coming closer to one another. They might be a pair of CO2 molecules, for example, although this analysis works for any pair of molecules. The two molecules have both attractive and repulsive forces between them. The attractive forces are between dipoles on the molecules, and the repulsive forces occur when the electron clouds of the two molecules are close enough to repel one another. When these forces are equal, the molecules are at their equilibrium separation, R0. These attractive and repulsive forces determine the potential energy of the two molecules. Equation 17.18 shows how the total potential energy varies as the separation, R, of the molecules changes. This total potential energy is called the Leonard-Jones potential. A and B are constants for a particular type of molecule. Attractive forces correspond to negative potential energy and repulsive forces correspond to positive potential energy. The tendency will be for the two molecules to move to a position where their potential energy is at a minimum, like a ball rolling down a hill. Notice that the potential energy of attraction is inversely proportional to r to the sixth, which means its magnitude decreases very rapidly as the molecules are separated further apart. The energy of repulsion is inversely proportional to r to the twelfth, which means that its magnitude decreases even more rapidly as the molecules get further apart. Now have a look at the graph, which is figure 17.14. The red dotted line shows how the potential energy of attraction changes with separation. And the green dotted line shows how the potential energy of repulsion changes with separation. The blue line is the total potential energy made by adding together the attraction and repulsion energies. Now imagine that we're starting with the molecules widely separated. The attractive forces dominate and as the molecules move closer together, the total potential energy becomes more negative. The point where the energy reaches a minimum corresponds to the equilibrium separation, and we call that R0. If they get any closer, the potential energy starts to become more positive as the repulsive forces begin to dominate and the molecules would tend to move back to their equilibrium separation. Equation 17.18 is only an approximation, but it helps to give you an understanding of the way attraction and repulsion change with molecular separation.